<laughs> uh, so look at the title of this article. Again, not surprising. Not surprising, but still deeply disturbing. The Biden admin says it may restart construction of the border wall to fill gaps left by Trump. Wouldn't the appropriate response to tear down this racist, xenophobic, disgusting, white supremacist monstrosity and not fill in the gaps? Hmm. Seems like, I mean, honestly, the only difference that I've really seen between Biden and Trump, um, I haven't really seen any difference, frankly, on immigration policy except <clears throat> family separation. But again, that's still happening um, but it's just happening on the other side of the of the border now. Um, President Biden, uh, as Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, limited funding had been allocated to construction of the border wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. I mean, Jesus Christ. Basically, any use of the money would be better than spent on this racist, white supremacist monstrosity that is this border wall. Biden admin may restart building some of the wall alongside the U.S.'s southern border, despite President Joe Biden's pledge to cease construction of former President Donald Trump's Keystone Project. I mean, he's went back on so many things that he campaigned on. It would uh, make your head spin if you didn't expect this to happen, which, which I did. That's one of the reasons I didn't vote for him. <clears throat> Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has told colleagues that some construction might resume along the border while to plug some gaps. The Washington Times reported Monday, um, abolish Homeland Security, abolish ICE, abolish CBP. According to the report, Mayorkas said that the Biden, <clears throat> while Biden froze in Defense Department funding for all, that leaves room to make decisions at the admin as part of the admin, in particular areas of wall need, that need renovation, particularly projects that need to be finished. So there's Biden's head of Homeland Security saying that, you know, these projects, we, we got we to gotta finish this racist, white supremacist monstrosity. There's some gaps. They need renovating. We got to have full white supremacist border wall complete. Jesus Christ. Such a horrible, disgusting use of, of our tax dollars, of my and your money, going to pay for this white supremacist monstrosity. Biden has pledged to not build another foot of wall. Hmm. He halted all federal funding for the border wall in his first day in office, gave officials 60 days to determine how to proceed with Trump's half finished. Take the fucking thing down, like. What it, What is the other idea or solution for this? That is the only thing that makes any type of sense. Jesus. <clears throat> it's fucking, I mean, Jesus Christ. Most construction work has been paused, the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said on Tuesday. While construction remains paused to the extent permitted by law, she said, so some has already been funded through a congressional authorization and funding allocation, but as agencies develop for a plan... <clears throat> it's paused while agencies are developing a plan for the president on the management of the federal funds. She added, it's paused. There's some limited construction that has been funded and allocated, but the otherwise paused. Um, an expert told insiders Mia Jankowitz in March that diverting wall funding was likely not a priority as the administration tackled a surge in border crossings. And again, these... <clears throat> surges and people wanting to come to the U.S. are in large part result of U.S. imperialism, things like NAFTA, things like sanctions, things like the U.S. propping up dictatorships all across the world and that includes in, you know, um, Central and Latin America and things that Biden is in huge favor of. Also things like the war on drugs, which creates huge amounts of violence and chaos in um, Mexico, in Colombia, and in these other countries. And things like the, uh, tw I believe it was 2019 coup attempt in Honduras, 
Again, that was part of the Obama-Biden administration. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was a huge favor of that. Um, that where was it? Their um, president there, I think, was Manuel Zelaya, if I'm not mistaken. He was overthrown in a military coup that more or less installed a dictatorship there. Um, and all of these things play a part in people wanting to migrate to the U.S. at a chance for a better life and now you know it's no longer kids in cages or kids in concentration camps it's you know migrant overflow facilities now that a democrat's in office even though it's accurate to call them kids being placed in cages people in concentration camps camps under trump but now that's you know the president in office has a d next to their name we we gotta call them migrant overflow facilities or detention centers <clears throat> which really shows you that a lot of the criticism against Trump was simply because he was, um, you know, a Republican and not any type of actual substantive critique people were making because they're not making the same critique of Biden now with things like the border wall or all of the people um, in these concentration camps at the border, um, which, again, not not surprising, but still very uh, disgusting and, and revealing. <clears throat> Peace, much love.